So guys, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good day. It is um. I can see the chair there. I gotta get it away. Um. It is Wednesday. We're gonna do one hour of cardio. We're gonna do mostly lower body exercises. But hola, bad get that. But of course, of course, we are going to do some. Um, but of course, we're going to do some pull up and dips. You said we got to train. The, we got to train those arms. So like train those arms every day. Very important. Let's drink or tea. We start with. I have to put some water in there because if I don't, then it's gonna be too hot. And as you can see, uh, I don't have a yoga mat here. The yoga mat is not on the floor. Some of you might know what that means. Uh, we're going to use the gliders today because since we have one hour of cardio. I thought it would be good like to use the gliders, the, the chair, everything, right? So if you don't have gliders, hasta luego. Si no pasa nada, no te preocupes. Gracias por siempre estar aquí. So um, if you don't have those gliders, you could use the big sock, which you don't want, might don't, maybe don't want to use during uh, these hot temperatures. Well, where it's that hot. Well, maybe it's not hot there, right? Maybe on the south half of the globe. Um, so, oh well, funciona como un abanico. Okay, um, guten Morgen, Jonas. So, uh, if you don't have the gliders, you can use thick socks, you can use towels, or you can just do it without them. There's gonna be a lot of exercises where we, for example, gonna be like in this like half squat stance where our back is straight, knees are slightly bent, we're hinged forward, and then we're gonna, for example, slide. Slide forward, slide back, slide to the side. But instead of sliding, you could be always tipping, right? Instead of the sliding motion, you can just, uh, if you don't have the glides, you can just use a tipping motion. Exact same thing, we're gonna do mountain climbers with those. But if you don't glide, you can just step, right? So, no excuses. Anyway, let's have our tea. It's gonna be 30 degrees, I think it might, might already be. So we're gonna get a good sweat. Although this cardio is gonna be mostly low impact. You. Sometimes I'm thinking I need more light. I have so many lights on, but still it feels like it's not enough. So, so first of all, we're gonna do a little warm up. A we circle of wrist. Hola, Daniel. Buenas. We circle our wrist to one side and to the other side. Rolling our shoulders. And to the front. Come into white stance. And slide down at this side of your leg. Down and down. Down and down. Over. And over. Yeah, it's my new office. Well, new. It's like I, I do have it for like four to five months now. Extend that movement with your arm, your shoulders stay down. Over and over. And over. Oh, it's not stretching. Wait, I have to change that. I always forget that the stretching tag is on when we are starting. Um, to the side, both feet flat on the floor, right? And then we bend the front leg and we pulse a little bit, right? We pulse it a little bit to stretch the back of the back leg. And then we straighten the front leg and we lean forward with the straight back. And then we're going to stretch the back of the front leg. Oh, feels so good. And up. Let's switch sides. Down. 
Bounce a bit, both feet flat on the floor, front leg is bent. Straighten both legs, lean forward. Again, wide stance. Come down, slide your hands down at the sides of your legs. Come as low as you can here. Feeling a nice stretch in the back part of your legs and your bum. Bend one leg and then the other. One and the other. Both hands on the floor for a moment. Then lift one leg up and one leg, one arm up. Nice spine twist here. Other side. And then come into a deep lunge. And bounce a bit up and down. To stretch those quads. Switch sides. Du hast aus deinem blauen Bikini gewonnen. Welchen blauen Bikini? And up. Move, lift the front leg up and down while you keep bow, uh, the, the back leg. Move, lift the back heel up and down, hands on the floor, front leg is down on the floor. Straight, both legs straight. And switch sides. Uh, up and up. Up and up. Uh, let's roll up. Let's have a zip of or T again. And then we're going to start the cardio session in a sec. Good morning, women. Ah, so good. Oh, I'm so it's so hot already, guys. I'm so sweaty already. I'm just sweating while almost doing nothing. Meinst du das blaue Bikini Oberteil, das was so blau marmoriert ist oder was? Ich weiß gar nicht, welchen blauen Bikini du meinst gerade. Hola, buenas Marquis. Das habe ich auch noch im Schrank. Ich habe beide nicht angehabt. Das könnte man auch mal wieder tragen. Ist irgendwo unten vergraben. Okay, weiß doch bestimmt, ich weiß nicht, ob es bei dir auch so ist. Aber man zieht immer die gleichen Sachen irgendwie an und dann die anderen Sachen vergräbt man, die sind unter den ganzen anderen Sachen. Und irgendwann, wenn man mal irgendwas bestimmtes sucht, oder irgendwie aufräumt den Schrank nach 100 Jahren, dann fallen eben so alte Sachen wieder auf. Okay, guys, so what we're gonna do now, one hour of cardio. As I said, we're gonna use the gliders. If you don't have gliders, you can just use towels, thick socks, or instead of gliding, you could just be stepping. Um, and most of the exercises, especially the ones we start with, we're gonna be in the, like half squat stance here and then sliding the foot back to the side, stuff like that. And you could just be tapping instead of gliding, right? If you don't have the glider, you just tap. So, let's get going. I think we've got to do about like 10 to 20 minutes of the gliders. Then we put the mat again. We're probably going to use the chair because like we have one hour of cardio. It's going to be low impact mostly, but we're going to get a good sweat. I promise. I promise because it's one hour. And I don't want you to stop as always. I want you to keep moving. So, where is it? There we go. One minute with each move at the moment. First minute, we just march in place. Right, just marching in place. March, march, march. Easy peasy, easy start. 
I'm sweating already because it's 27 or 28 degrees already. It was when I checked last time. I think it's 30 now. It's summertime, but it's going to be 35 next week. Oh my gosh, I'm 30, 35. I just going to be sitting there and just sweating, just like without moving at all. Because you know, there's like this body indifference temperature, which is the temperature at which you can like do nothing, be naked and you're still not cold. And this is like usually around 28 degrees. But if it's 28 degrees and you have clothes on and you keep moving, you'll sweat because like you're over that indifference temperature. But it, it, it varies. The indifference temperature varies from person to person, obviously. Okay. Feet on there and we slide out. First side out. Out. Try to keep those hips square, right? And slide out. And yeah, the, so I guess like my indifference temperature is probably at 30 degrees or maybe 31 because I'm, I'm freezing all the time. But yeah, it varies a little bit, but that's about, usually it's like about 28 degrees. But you can be naked doing nothing and you still won't feel cold nor hot. It's a very, very thin space where you feel that. Below that, you'll feel cold and above that, uh, you feel hot. 20 seconds and then we do the other side. And as I say, you can just tap out as well. You don't need to have the gliders. But the glider says super cool thing to like train with low impact, but it's still hard because of the gliding, I tell you, it's a, yeah, it, it's a different way of engaging those muscles. Four, three, two, one, other side. And the lower you go, the harder it gets. So if you want to, you could come lower here. You could like really squat down and then it's going to be harder. But yeah, don't push yourself too hard. Oh my God, like I'm, I'm sweating. I'm so sweaty right now already. So uh, for me, this is okay. This is enough because we have one hour ahead and it's just two minutes in. Two minutes in, guys. A lot of nice stuff coming up, but not high impact like yesterday. Today it's gonna be mostly low impact. Maybe one or two high impact moves. You never know, right? But like, I'm not planning on doing a lot of high impact. But one hour, right? One hour is a lot. 10 seconds. Boop, boop, boop. Ah, love it. Out, out. Okay, now we slide back straight, straight, straight. The front leg again, or the, the leg that stand, the steady leg is bent, hips are square and we slide the other leg out until it's like straight um, or if you have, don't have the gliders then you don't slide out then you just tap out which is totally fine <sighs> okay i feel like i have to slow down a little bit here i was going so fast i'm so out of breath already and we're just three minutes in or something like that <laughs> oh my out 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 hi i have to go grocery shopping again when i'm done here i need some watermelon i ate all my watermelon yesterday i'm such a watermelon junkie it's a uh, yeah other side back and back right back and back back and back you can add those arms to make it easier although it might make it harder as well right because you're moving them but then the movement is kind of more natural because you're kind of moving in the opposite direction as the leg so you don't lose your balance but then of course you're doing more work with your arms as well Next thing, mountain climbers on the floor. Ah, they're gonna be hard. They're gonna be painful. They're gonna be great. <laughs> 10 seconds. So we're still listening to the Pretzel Rock um, pop playlist. And I'm hoping we're getting this, these boobs are so bouncy song today, right? It's, it was in there. So mountain climbers, we come into plank pose and you either tap in or you glide in. And you don't have to do that fast, right? I'm doing it slow as you can see because yeah we have a lot a lot to come so don't push yourself too hard just keep moving constantly 
If you feel like any exercise is too much, just march in place or do a step tap, but don't like stop. Keep moving slowly. 30 more seconds. Ah. My gosh, so hard. Ah. Ah. 15 seconds, push through guys, you can do it. I know it's hard, I know it's hard, but we can. I love it when it's so hard, it feels like I'm doing so much more than I'm actually doing. Okay, next thing, half circle. So, half circle. Again, we're in this half squat stance. And then we take your ampliereta. Cocina de Franco. Ay, Franco. Torreria. Bueno, está bien, no, no pasa nada si algunos días no, uh, no comemos lo, lo que deberíamos comer. Solamente vivimos una vez, así que tenemos que disfrutar de la vida. Claro, tenemos que tener unas reglas y tal para, para mejorar, para, uh, sí, para ser felices también, pero también está bien uh, darse algún uh, capricio. And down. Other side. Ah. Oh, guys, I'm so out of breath and so sweaty already. This is crazy. How come? How come? Next thing we gotta do is we're gonna do we're coming to a bear plank and push one leg back i'm gonna show you if you again if you don't have the gliders you can just step back instead stepping back is a is a completely legit option to do these exercises seven minutes in with the gliders the glider exercises are hard guys they are harder than you expect them to be especially with those temperatures five four Three, two, one. Okay. Bear plank is a plank, like we're in a tabletop position, then you hover your knees a bit of the floor and then one leg straight and the other back. Right. And we're almost done with the gliders, right? So don't worry. We're gonna do about 10 minutes only with those, I think. <sighs> oh, it's so hard, I'm suffering! My quads are on fire. Out, 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 and out. Oh my, out, and out. Just a few more. <sighs> Five, four, Three, two, one, and up again, and out uh, into this, uh, the low stand and out to the side. Again, this side, the other side, and then we're gonna get rid of the gliders. We're gonna take one minute off marching in place and uh, having a drink, rolling out the mat to keep on doing stuff. Nine minutes in, nine minutes in. So we're gonna do 11 with the gliders at all in total and then switching to the mat and later on grabbing a chair. I know it, it looks like I'm not doing anything guys. It looks so easy, but it's not, it's not. Especially because I didn't step so far, right? And I'm talking all the time, which also makes it more complicated, I guess. Okay, five. Four, three, two, one, other side, last glider move here. Out. Ah. Glide, 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 glide. Ah. 
So today we're going to do a lot of donkey kicks. We're going to do side leg leg lifts. We're going to do we're going to train the insides of our uh, of our legs as well, the inner thighs, and yeah, mostly lower. But yeah, of course, abs and abs and arms are yeah, they're always in there, right? They're always in the mix. Just they're important, and they're so much fun to train. Out. Out. Oh, one minute of rest is awaiting us in four, three, two, one. Okay. Put those gliders away. Keep moving, right? Don't stop. Don't stop, guys. Roll out your mat. Roll out your mat. Hey. March in place. Oh my god, there's so much sweat dropping down my forehead and into my eyes already. Ah. Ah. We're going to do some app exercises on the mat now. So, I put a towel down there to not make everything drenched in sweat. So, in, out, like that, right? Hands up in the air. If this is hard, you can have them behind you, right? Out. So, we did a lot of leg work. And now we're going to do some abs. Yes. Nice, right? Nice little ab work here. 32 seconds to go with that move. We're going to work those abs further after that. Oof. Oof. 20 seconds. Oh, getting hard. I can feel that in my lower abs, especially. Do you feel it too? I hope you do. Five, four, three, two, one. Let jackknife, single leg jackknife though. So come up down here and lift one leg off and then the other. If it's too hard, you can bend the knee and then it's gonna be a bit easier. But yeah, if you wanted to do a bit more Try to have that leg as straight as possible. You could even lift both legs at a time. But yeah, no need to push too hard because yeah, we still have, we still have almost 50 minutes of cardio ahead of us. So uh, yeah, it's way to go guys, way to go. Don't, don't give it your all yet. We need some strength and some endurance left for those minutes that are to come. After that, we're going to do one minute of glute bridges. Easy peasy. Because after that, I want to do something harder. So I want you to recover a little bit. So hands by your sides here and bum up and down, up and down, right? I know this is not a technically not like a, a very cardio-ish move. But since we're not taking any rest here, since we're like pushing through all the time, it's a totally acceptable move in this one hour of cardio. And up and down. Oh yes. Bam. And bam. Up and up. 15 seconds. Up and, and up and up and push. Squeeze those glutes when you're up there. Mm, two, one. Okay, next thing. Legs straight back. Both legs hovering if you can. And then crunch, little crunchy, right? Both legs straight. If it's too hard, you can bend the top leg or you can even put the back leg onto the floor. But I would prefer you to have both in the air. Oh, we do little crunches here for one minute. 
Remember what legs you got up? I've got my right up. So that after that we're gonna do another set of of blue bridges and then the other side on auto breath guys. It's hard to breathe. It's hard to speak doing that exercise. Oh. Oof. Don't forget to breathe. You need the oxygen. 15 seconds. So sweaty already. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, uh, blue bridges. Oh, guys. Oh, there's so much sweat here in between my boobs. Up and up. I love it. We'll go burn here right away. And we're only, we're not even 50 minutes in. Oh, we're 60 minutes in. Okay, so we're in a little bit. But anyway, still really hard. If you ever feel like it's too much, just march in place or do some easy exercise like a step tap. Right? No need to push too hard. Thank you. 15 seconds with those glute bridges and then the other side. In that case, my left leg is going to be up and we're going to do those crunches with our legs hovering in the air. If we can, if it's too hard, like I said, you can have that leg bent, the other leg on the floor. But if you're able to have both legs in the air, do that. Oh. Really hard. Yes, it's super hard. Oh my God. I can barely talk doing that. Doesn't look like much, but it is. Thank you. 30 seconds to go. After that, we get up again uh, for a quick, uh, easy session, marching in place, jogging in place, whatever you want to do, having a drink. Uh, before we go back to the floor, doing more app work. Uh, 15 seconds, guys. Push through. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up, uh, march in place. Oh gosh. Oh, this is so hard. I'm so sweaty. Can you see that? Can you see all this sweat? Wow. March and have something to drink. Oh, I think he wants to leave again. I'm checking. Keep marching. After that, we're going to do Russian twists. Haven't done them in like, I don't know, a long, long time. So let's see how they work out. So, okay. We come. I got like them. So you come down here, legs are floating and then one side and to the other. Boop. Try to like tap the floor with your elbow, engaging those obliques here. <sighs> Russian twist. Then you can lift your legs higher if you wanted to make it harder, right? Or you could have your legs on the floor if you want, want it to be easier. Push, push, push. Oh yes, 30 more, 30, 30 seconds to go. Ah, twisting from side to side. And if you don't get your elbows to the floor, no problem. Just like kind of reach for it. Oof. Oof. Twisting through your torso. You should feel that in your abs. You should feel a burn. I do feel a burn. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Other way, other side around. We gotta do bird dogs for one minute on one side. So lift those one arm, one leg, one leg, elbows and knees together in out, in and out. This is a good move for bum, for core or back. 
Shoulders away from ears here. Out and in. 20 minutes. So 40 minutes to go. Out. Uh. Push, guys. 20 seconds and then we're going to do the other side. Always remember, ears away from shoulders. Knee under hips here. And if you slow it down, if you have to slow it down, it's totally fine. Doing it slower might even be harder, actually. In Pilates, it's off, often like that, that we do something slow. Other side. Then it's, uh, it's harder because you really engage all those small muscles that you would not be engaging while like moving super fast. And in, up, in, up. Oh yes. <sighs> About 20 seconds to go guys. I hope you're drenched in sweat like I am. My towel here, you cannot see it um, because it's like kind of a weird kind of fabric, but it's very wet already. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Let's switch around into this crab stance and tap the opposite foot with the arm. And you can do that slow, right? No need to rush that. You can take your time. Because that stance like this is already uh, hard. Oh, sorry. Alles raus, was keine Miete zahlen, ne? In German, something you say, like it's like uh, everything out is not pay rent. Woo. Up and up. 20 seconds to go. And then we're gonna stand up again for a while, guys. Oh no, actually, we're gonna do one more exercise down here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Woo. Up. Five, four, Three, two, one. So, one more exercise. Legs up here, and then one side, other side. Right, we're twisting from side to side here. So hands together, legs up in a kind of a reverse title top position, and then to one side and to the other side, engaging those abs, those obliques. And also, the uh, rectus abdominals also be straight up. I don't know how they how the normal name is of those. Well, does it matter? We engaging them, right? This is the important part. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. <sighs> Three, two, one, and up. March in place, towel away. March in place, drink something. Marching. Ba -ba. Or even jogging, maybe, if you want to, right? If you want to put it a little bit high impact. What about jogging for those last 25 seconds? Woohoo! So let's give those abs, though, and not a real rest, but like, let's work other body parts while working the abs, too. Well, that's what we're almost, almost always are doing, right? You can you can't just isolate the abs, usually. You're usually working more than just one part of your body. So, hands here, up, and twist, twist, twist your knees up, like that, Whew. how does that feel, and up, and up, 
and up and up so we're kind of twisting and we're staying rather straight in the torso but we're twisting like a lower body so that in the end we're engaging those legs but also the obliques right Whew. Whew. and you can do that slower if it's too hard right do it really slow no need to push to rush anything here but 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 Up. Okay, wide stance, plie, hands to the side, and standing abs here from side to side. I show you from the side, like we're not hinging forward, right? We're staying like this and we're moving from side to side here. So engaging those obliques. After that, we're done with ab exercises for the moment. Okay. And we're gonna work those legs a little bit more. And then the arms. <sighs> From side to side, 20 seconds to go. Can you go a bit lower? This is also hard for the legs, by the way, I know. Sometimes you feel that more in the legs than in the abs. Actually, pretty often. 10 seconds. Oof. Five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, now plie in the first position. So feet are slightly turned out and we can go up and down here. Knees are aligned with our feet, right? This is important and like we're hinging, we're not hinging forward, this is wrong. We're sliding down an imaginary wall, shoulders stacked over hips, up and down, up and down. And I know this is not super hard, but if you do it right, if you actually try like to keep those knees aligned with the toes, it's not that easy. Hi, Luca. Welcome. Good morning. Down and up. And up and down. Just 18 seconds to go. Then we're going to take it up a notch. And you can have your hands by the side. See if you wanted to. You can have them anywhere. How I, I'm good, I'm great, sweaty already because it's so hot, but yeah, nice. Whew. Thank you, Diane. So now let's come onto a tippy toes, bring those heels together, and then we do the same thing here, the same plies. And you might want to hold on to something because now we're doing them on our tippy toes. And you don't have to be super high on your tippy toes, but I want you to slide down that imaginary wall still, right? We're not hinging forward, no, 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 up and down. Up and down. Woo! And do it slow if you have to, right? Because I know this has, this is hard. This is also a balance exercise. Up. 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 And closer. Up. Up. Just a few more seconds. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we stay on those tippy toes. We come into the plie, right? I'm going back in that position, and then we tuck the hips forward, right? We're here, down, and we tuck the hips. Tuck and tuck and tuck and tuck, right? You should feel a burn pretty fast if you're not feeling one yet. I do feel a burn in my inner thighs here. If you don't feel anything, try to go lower. If it's too hard, you can come up a little bit, right? Make this your workout. Adjust this to your needs, needs and to yeah, your fitness level. After that, we're done with the plies for the moment at least. So 15 more seconds. 50 seconds more. How are you doing, Luca? Ah. And five, four, three, two, one. Up. And let's do some lunges, reverse lunges. So we step back, lunge, and up. When we do that, the important thing is we don't want to have a foot like this, right? We want to have a foot tucked. And once you have your foot tucked, you can go lower. You could even. 
Do that low and tap the floor gently though. Gently, right? Don't don't like crush your knee into the floor, just tap the mat gently. Tap. tap. You don't put any weight down on the on there, right? You're just tapping the mat, you're just feeling forward, boop, it's there and up again. Whew. 30 minutes into the workout. So guys, that means halfway through the cardio part, halfway through. And yeah, we do strength exercises afterwards, but for sure you don't have to do them. If you just do the cardio session, this is all you are gonna need to do for one day of workout. So run or march in place, right up to you to drink something. You're gonna grab the chair now. If you don't have a chair, kitchen counter will do, or anything else, right? Uh, we can step on, we can, we can hold on to, or just do it without, right? You can do the exercise without a chair as well. Um, the chair is just going to make some exercises harder, others easier. So yeah. Jack in place. Run or march, whatever. And thank you so much guys for being here for supporting me and my content for giving me a thumbs up and likes thank you thank you and for subscribing of course right <sighs> two one come onto the chair straight back bottom leg or well, standing leg can be bent slightly hips are square and we lift that leg up and down one leg up and down it's fairly straight and you could do that without a chair as well like that then you don't have such a big range of motion but it's totally doable without a chair, right? Remember, back is straight. Shoulders away from ears, no slouching, guys, right? Slouching is bad. And yeah. Up and down. This is a leg and booty exercise. Up and up. 15 seconds. Almost done with that first move. We're going to do another move and then we're going to switch sides. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now knee in and push back. Knee in, push back, right? And again, you can have a micro bend in that standing leg. Totally acceptable, totally fine. Hips are square. So no turning out here. Shoulders away from ears. Back is straight and maybe you have to step a little bit away from the chair. You have enough space to do that move. Up to you. And if you feel that more in the standing leg, this is also totally, totally normal. Because this standing leg is doing a lot of work, right? It's like, it's holding our weight up. It's stabilizing us. Working as well. 20 seconds. Push. Up. Push and push. Ten seconds. Oh, yeah. mm. Other leg. Right, same thing here. Up and down. Hips are square. Shoulders away from ears. Back is straight. Standing leg can be slightly bent. But no turning out here. Foot is fairly straight. Whew. How are you feeling guys? You enjoying this as much as I do? Are you sweating as much as I am? Is it as hot at your place? And on Friday, by the way, guys, I think we're gonna do a stretching session. And yeah, it's gonna happen later in the afternoon. Maybe we're gonna do uh, a bit of a workout as well. Not much, but some stuff. Because I won't be going to the park on Friday, so. Yeah, but it might be super loud because there's parties everywhere here now in summer. So yeah, might be loud on Fridays. But well, better party last party sounds than construction work sounds, right? In and out. Pull the leg in and push out. Yes, guys, don't forget to like and comment. I really appreciate that. So um, 
in and out here, right? In and out. Pull the leg in, push it out, back is straight, uh, hips are square. Um, and if you haven't checked out my other content yet, maybe do that. Like I have a lot of videos and shorts and shorts clips and stuff. And if you like those, if you watch them, if you write a comment, that's really helping me. That's really good for the algorithm. And yeah, I'm really thankful and grateful for all of you guys uh, supporting me here on my way to uh, growing, on my way to becoming a full-time YouTuber, hopefully, right? This is my plan and we're gonna make that, make it happen. If it takes a year, okay. If it takes 10 years, well, good things take their time, right? So no problem. Back and back and back. Okay, let's start with arms, guys. So we're gonna do some dips here. Come onto the chair. You could do this on the floor as well. And then dips. And what we do here, when we do the dip, our elbows fl fl uh, flare. They don't flare out, they go back, right? They go back. So you kind of pull them in towards each other. Up. Up. Oh. Up. 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 Ah. Woo. And up. We're still gonna do some up, uh, some leg exercises in between those arm exercises so that our wrists don't get too tired. By the way, two, one. Now we're gonna do split squats. And then after that, we're gonna do arms again. So make sure that you have like the right, uh, the right distance here and then up and down. I don't have to go super low because yeah, it's just the cardio part. We gotta work uh, our legs later on. Further. Up and down, guys. And don't forget to breathe. Woo! Up and down. 20 seconds to go. And a total of uh, 37 seconds uh, in. 37 minutes in, so a bit more than 20 minutes, and then we're done with this workout. And with the cardio part, well, not with the workout. Two, one, other side, guys. Other side, Whee! And if you have to hold on to a wall or a chair here or something because of your balance, that's totally fine. Ah. Oh. So out of breath already, guys. <sighs> Up and down. Up and down. Twenty-two seconds. Do you feel a burn already? My quads are on fire. My quads are burning. Oh yes, and I'm so sweaty. Can you see that? Like I, I think I'm pretty like uh, glowy because of the sweat. Is it glowy? No, like um, glittering because of the sweat. So now, uh, shoulder taps up here. They're easier than on the shoulders. A tap and tap, tap and tap. Right? Don't move your hips here. Your hips stay square. You're just moving those arms. Tap one shoulder and the other. One and the other. Tap and tap. Woohoo! Do they sound weird to me? What? What sounded weird to you? Up. 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 Ah. 15 seconds. Ah, oh, it's so hard. Ah, oh, incredible. Okay. Tap. Tap the, the chair with your feet. Right. <laughs> Tap. 
and tap. And tap, and tap. Almost done with the chair, right? We're going to do push-ups on the chair next. These are easier because they're inclined. They're easier to do on the floor. Um, but yeah, after that, we're going to get rid of the chair and then we're going to do more push-ups and more stuff on the floor. So you're welcome for that. 40 minutes in already. <sighs> Woo, three, two, one. Okay, push ups on the chair. Uh. Uh. Make sure that you're still like in a moving plank, so no arching your back, right? The plank goes down, you're bending those elbows and you're straightening again and there's still a fairly straight line from shoulders to heels. 30 seconds. Pro bikini am Strand. Oh. Okay. Up. Uh. Up. Woo. Up. Oh guys, I'm so sweaty. Uh. Once more. Okay, march in place. Whew. Ah, oh, march in place. Drink something. March in place. Drink something. Oh. Look at me, guys. Look at how full of sweat. Everything's glittering because of the sweat. March. We're gonna do inchworms with a push-up. Um, but we're gonna change the timer because I wanna do that for longer than one minute. So we're gonna do one minute of normal inchworms and then two minutes of inchworms with a push-up. So an inchworm is where you walk out into a plank and then you walk Back up, right? Easy peasy, guys. Piece of cake still. And yeah, after one minute, we're gonna add those push ups at the end. If you don't wanna do the push up, you could just hold the plank instead. Uh, or uh, if you think a push up is too hard, uh, try a push up on your knees. 20 seconds. And then we do this with a push up. This is one of my favorite moves. Ah, so nice to like warm up. Although we're already warmed up, right? Okay, push up guys, we walk out. And here we are. Push up, and we walk back. Take your time, enjoy that. You don't have to rush anything here. Oof. Mm -hmm. Oof. And up. Da, 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 da. One minute and twenty seconds to go. Oof. Okay, guys. I really hope that we get that that boobs are so bouncy song, but I doubt it somehow. Because we didn't get it yesterday either. Maybe it's out of the playlist, but it's so funny. Oof. You remember the song like these boobs are so bouncy, so bouncy, so bouncy. That was a weird song. Up. 
after that we're giving or first a little rest doing some ankle mobilities and then back to doing something with push-ups so a lot of push-ups coming up for those last 50 minutes <laughs> so the next thing is get an, any cat hair out of your eye if there's something in there okay perfect it's out so what we do now ankle mobility we come down here if we can if you have to put your hands somewhere on the floor it's okay then up and tuck your toes and up again right this is the movement if you have to have your hands on the floor to do that correctly no problem you can do that um but yeah try it hands free maybe it's a it's a good mobility move and it's not that hard but yeah if you're lacking ankle flexibility you're very likely not to be able to get into that asian squat that squat down here and you will have to work on that first to do it hands free but yeah with the hands anyone should be able to do it next move is um side planks alternating side planks with a push-up in between so we walk out into that plank if you want to do the push-up do it if you don't want to do it just hold the plank but not if not push up and to the side right and then back and no need to push anything to go too hard right we are and we can take our time here really feeling everything every muscle i still feel like i have cat hair in my eye oh well up and down um shoulders away from ears it's very important here right no slouching because that's going to be bad for your posture and it's gonna hurt so if it's too hard don't do the push up just hold the plank oh so nice this is a very good move to strengthen those shoulders as well even if you don't do the push up right even if you just switch through those side planks or those high side planks right we usually do more of those side planks that are on our forearm but this one is also very good very good way to train your posture Oof. i'm so out of breath <sighs> 20 seconds and then one minute of marching in place while I try to get the cat hair out of my eye and you do you march in place you drink something and then more stuff <sighs> okay march in place guys and I'm checking here one more cat hair. March. I'm just gonna put some solution in there. Disolución para lentillas. Ah. Cat hair can be so aggressive, especially melty. So, move, guys. Woo! Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. <sighs> Next thing we're gonna do arms out to the side, pointing up or palms up, and then just up and down, and you're still marching or walking, right? <laughs> shoulders away from ears this is weightless arms and this is a good way to train all those small muscles in your back in your arms and yeah you could sit down for that actually or do whatever but yeah I think it's it's less it's less painful doing it standing don't drop those arms 
Right? Leave him up there. Pulsing. Up there. All the time. Don't drop them below shoulder level. Straight out to the side. Shoulders down. Teeny tiny pulses. Bounces here. I know this burns. It's supposed to burn. Oh my gosh, I'm like so, I'm so glittery because of the sweat. I hope you can see that. 55 seconds to go, right? Do you feel the burn? My shoulders are on fire. Oh gosh, it hurts so much. Does it hurt for you too? I hope. I hope you're doing that with me and you're not just like staring at me thinking, oh, how can that be so hard? She's just holding her arms up and she's not even using weights. Yeah, duh, after one hour of cardio, it's really hard, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> it's really hard, it burns so bad in my shoulders. These small muscles. <sighs> ah. 20 seconds. 15 seconds, oh god! <laughs> so bad, it's so bad. So painful, but well. Like. Three, two, one, down! Whew. Now, squats and a pulse. Boop, boop, and up. Pulse, pulse, and up. Pulse, pulse, and up. Pulse, pulse. Nine more minutes of cardio, guys. Almost done. Right? Almost done. Oh, that was so relieving to like put those arms down, right? For me, it was. Up, up. Pulse, pulse. Same thing here. Then, um, I don't I know. We're doing two squats so fast. So, when you do squats, you want to hinge forward, your back is straight, weight is in the heels, and important, your knees are aligned with your toes. If they are aligned with your toes, it doesn't really matter if you do a wide squat or a narrow squat. As long as neither toes are aligned, you're going to protect your knees against injuries. Or from injury? How do you say that? Against injuries or from injuries? Or can you say both? Okay, now down dog to plank. So we come into plank pose, everything nice and engaged, and then into a down dog where we align our back with our arms. We try to straighten the legs and we can bring the heels to the floor, but that's like not so important right now. We're more looking for shifting from pose to pose here. Feeling a nice stretch in the back, in the shoulders as well. Oh, we're working the whole body here. And if you feel like you're gliding out, like you're sliding away, uh, you should think about getting a, a good mat because like this really is a game changer, right? If you have a mat that's like too stretchy, that's like too slippery and everything, you're gonna suffer with those moves way more than you have to. And there's some moves that you're not being able, that you're not gonna be able to do properly because, yeah, the mat is just not the adequate one. So, yeah, a really good yoga mat is a, is a thing you should invest into. Mm. Woohoo! Up. Pulse. Pulse. Why did I say pulse? We're not pulsing here. It's just like me babbling. Babble, babble, babble. Oh, it feels so good. <sighs> Relaxing after all the other stuff we did, right? After that, in the minute, we're going to stay in the down dog and we're going to do down dog push ups for one minute. And you don't have to do, can go, you don't have to go very low, you can go just like, you can turn a bit down, just like more of a shoulder shock if you want to, right? No need to push it too hard. So down, dark, and then bend those elbows. And I'm flaring out here. You could go back as well, but I feel like the flaring out is the easier one right now. But yeah, make sure that you still kind of have your back straight. And take your time. I'm going to read the chat in a sec, guys. I don't want to crane my neck right now because I won't be able to see anything anyway from down here. 
Upside down. Three, two, one. Up here and high knees for two minutes. Bueno, porque Pérez es moderador. Sabe que es moderador, por eso casi siempre está. Porque se encarga de cosas muy importantes aquí, de moderar el chat. Ah. Up and up. 55, 56 minutes actually. Four minutes to go. ¿Qué tal? Buenas, Juan. Yeah. And uh, I still have something in my eye, but I'm going to check that after we're done with the cardio part. This is not that bad. I think it might be like a little some cat here lodged into it there somewhere. Yeah. And up. Uh, these are the last minutes of our hour of cardio. You've almost made it. Don't give up now. We're done with the Worst, I think. I think. Yeah. Thirty seconds. The next move is one that you can do low impact. You can do it high impact. I'm gonna show you both versions. Up. Uh, and up in a second. Once we're done with those high knees. High knees are easy, right? But after almost one hour of cardio, these legs are heavy. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the next thing, you can either lift your legs up like this, right? If you wanted to keep it low impact, or you can jump like this. If you up to some high impact work now in those last two and a half minutes. Let's go guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> and yeah, Friday because the stream is going to be later because I'm I want to do it always later on Friday so other people can watch it as well or the people who get up later or the ones like in a different time zone and it's gonna be mostly stretching but I think we're gonna start with a bit of workout so maybe half an hour or an hour of slight light workout and then we're gonna stretch for one and a half or two hours right just so you already know what's coming this Friday okay so now guys, okay, last one. Is it the last minute? Yeah, it's the last one. So you can either go down, step back, step back, come on your knees, push up. Right, this is the easy version. If you wanna do the hard version, you jump back, push up, jump up. This is the last move in this cardio session, so do what you want. But don't stop moving. Push through. Just two minutes to go. And you can take your time. Hello, Grace. Good morning. You can take your time. You don't have to rush it. Mauzi was not there. Mauzi had wahrscheinlich that he was going to sleep today. Mauzi had Mauzi hat eh das Bett wieder entdeckt für sich. Ja, die hatten ja so eine dicke Decke über den Winter und im Frühling, da hat sie immer Angst vor, weil die so groß ist. Die ist jetzt weg, eine Weile schon. Jetzt hat sie entdeckt, dass sie wieder ins Bett fährt. Jetzt hängt sie den ganzen Tag im Bett rum. Ja. Ah. Ah. Uh -huh. 35 seconds to go, guys. Ah. 
Vielleicht hat sie auf dich gewartet, vielleicht kommt sie jetzt, weiß man nicht. Weiß man natürlich nicht. Kann auch sein. Ich weiß nicht, ob ihr euch vielleicht über Discord abgesprochen habt. <lacht> One more. We're done with the cardio part, guys. Ah. Finally, finally. Okay. Time away. Done with the cardio. Woo. Applause. Thank you, Eve. Vale, gracias, Juan. Y nos vemos más. Uh, otro día. Muchas gracias por tu like y por tu apoyo. Y sí, nos vemos. Ah. So. Ich muss noch Mauti Haare aus meinem Auge entfernen, glaube ich. I gotta live with that hair in my eye, probably. So, uh, march in place. If you don't feel like doing any strength workout, no, that's totally fine. We did one off cardio. This is all the workout you need for one day. So, we got to do quick stretches for the ones who want to step now. Everyone else can, of course, uh, do the stretches as well. And then we're going to do some strength work. So, wide stance here. Like, wide stand, hand at the side of your leg, lean over towards one side, and then towards the other side, stretching the side body. Okay, down in the middle, maybe bring those legs further apart. Bend one leg and then the other. One and the other. Down, all the way down here. Maybe you can grab your ankles. Come into the lunge here. One knee on the floor, the back knee on the floor, and twist over. Switch sides. Deep lunge. Ah. Leg down. And twist. Oh, this feels so good. Such a nice stretch here. That leg. Come to Cobra Pose. And Child's Pose. Up. Intertwine your fingers behind your back and pull your arms up like that. You can even lean forward, intensify that. Yo, hang down here in a forward fold, moving from side to side, slowly rolling up vertebra by vertebra while you're still like swaying here. Look at those wrists. To one side, to the other, bring one knee in here, pull it up a bit, Woo! make sure not to fall over, grab the other side, pull it in, take it out, swing those arms back here. A shoulder stretch on the wall, hand towards the wall. And like that. Other side. Oh, 
Neue Shoulders. Here's the shoulders. Ah. So, this is like the, this was the um, stretching part for the cardio session. Now let's do some strength work. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom first. So. Um, take a bathroom break as well. Grab something to drink. Um, I'm going to play an ad break because I won't be here. not going to miss anything. And we'll be back in one or two minutes. So grab something to drink, hydrate, and take a piss. Right? See you in a sec. Mauti hat geschrien, du hast Mauti gehört, wie Mauti geschrien hat. Erstmal okay, Mauti wants, erstmal wichtigste, the most important thing, Mauti wants to hydrate. Right, she knows how important it is to stay hydrated at all times, so. Okay, guys, so now, so now, um, we got to do a lot of leg work, but um, I want to get rid of the pull-ups first. So we got to do pull-ups. If you don't have a pull-up bar, right? If you don't have a pull-up bar, you can do those down dog push-ups that we did. Um, or handstand push-ups, for that matter. They're good too. But yeah, the down dog push-ups will be those here. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, but if you have a pull-up, uh, we're gonna do some pull-ups and then after that, pull-ups and sit, and then like mostly, mostly low body stuff. So I'm gonna put on ankle weights, right? Because actually I want to get better, I want to... I'm able to do four to five pull-ups with the ankle weights and I would love to do six so I have to like work on that right to work on that if you have ankle weights you can put them on mine are one kilogram each so uh, it's roughly four pounds roughly roughly four point uh, roughly 2.2 pounds each one so four 
kilograms in total of extra weight. Um, that's, uh, yeah, 8.8 .8 pounds. More like all the ones we calculate in pounds. So, ah. Nazi, Nazi liegt jetzt hier einfach. Nazi liegt äh, und ja, die liegt auf der Seite und hat die Beine ein bisschen überkreuzt. Das ist die Nazi Position gerade. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna try to do five. Actually, I would love to try to do six, but I'm pretty, pretty positive that I won't be able to do six. Da machst du sofort mit sehr gut, ne? Sieht auch sehr bequem aus. Ah. Zwischendurch ein bisschen mit dem Schwanz wackeln, aber so ganz leicht auch nur. <lacht> okay, guys, let's try this. Uh, I want you, if you do a pull-up, I want you to do the whole thing. So all the way up and all the way down, like not halfway. And uh, yeah, if you want to do this grip, it's fine. The chin-up grip is fine, the neutral grip is fine. Even the wide grip, all of the wide grip is way harder. And yeah, I'll be doing hopefully five. If I'm like super lucky, I'll do six. I'm not gonna count out loud to care to hold my to like save some breath. And yeah, let's see if I manage to do that because I actually I want to do one more. It's been such a long time that I haven't like added on to that, and I feel like it's time. It's time to get stronger, stronger than yesterday. What's the Britney Spears? Oh. Oh, Christina Aguilera, no, I think it's Britney Spears, stronger than yesterday. Okay. Oh. Hi. Oh, I made it! The last one was really, it was really close, it was really almost, I think they didn't get, almost get the shit over the bar, but I did. <sighs> so hard. Okay, another set. Well, this time obviously I'm not gonna gonna make six, but hey, I did that once. It's good. So I'm going for five or four now. Let's see. Okay. Wasserpause bei Mauzi ist auch schon anstrengend, so rumzuliegen, ne? Da kriegt man schon doll Durst. Muss man auch aufpassen. Auch wenn man nur rumliegt, muss man viel hydrieren. Wie edel sie da so. Oh. Two more sets, guys. Two more sets of four or five. Let's see how many I'm able to do. Because since we're not focusing on arms, I just want to do something hard. And then, uh, yeah, do the legs. Only four. Oh. oh, hi, Starty. Welcome, thank you. Mercadona. Mercadona. Thank you for the super chat, Starty. Mercadona. Yin yang yawning face yawning face gun yin yang yawning face yawning face one o'clock hello cold face cold face cold face drooling face <laughs> cold face cold face cold face drooling face what was the other one 
Is it a water gun? I didn't say water gun. <laughs> oh, that's so hard. Thank you so much, Sole. Oh gosh, guys, so hard. Okay, let's do another four. If we can. If we can, but we can. We try. We try to do. Okay, let's let's get rid of the of the yoga blocks of the of the egg weights for the moment, right? We might gonna use them later on, or we will. No, might we will. But yeah, for the moment we don't need them. Leg work, leg work. Um, before we do some app work, if you have a ball, a uh, Pilates ball or a playground ball, or you could just use a couch cushion or roll up a towel, right? Then you could put it in between your thighs and then come into a plie position here, right? Plie. Come down a little bit, right? A little bit. Like it's like we're not hinging forward, right? We still stay like this. And a bit lower down. Like that. And then press in to train those inner thighs. And yeah, you could roll up a towel, use a couch cushion, or another type of like pillow. Pulling in. Push in. One side is like this. Right? In. Squeeze that ball, and there's like pressure on the ball at all times here. Squeeze. Ah. Oh my god, like I feel the burn right away. I haven't been doing this exercise in a long, long time. Si, Goofy is muy buena gente, no? In, 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 in. Ah. Oh. Yes. Now, up on your tippy toes, heels together, so you walk in a little bit, and same thing here. In. And again, we're not leaning forward. You might want to hold on to something, which is fine, right? But you're not here. You're here. Shoulders stacked on your hip bones. Push. In and in. Just a few more. And then we still got to got dips. Right? We still have to do some dips and some ab work with leg work. In, in, in. Now hold it in for 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go. Who haven't done that in a while? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's finish arms first, right? So let's do dips. If you don't have a dip bar, you can do dips on a kitchen counter, 
on the floor, wherever, right? Hands here, behind you, doing dips like this. Elbows go back, they don't flare out. Um, because we already did dips today, right, with the chair. But now we're going to do them with the power tower. Shoulders away from ears at all times. And yeah. In the sense here. Que la vida adulamente no presente. Bueno, sí, obviamente, obviamente. Pero bueno, inocencia también es algo de naividad. Debo colocar esto hasta un poquito de ahí. Ahí, se dice así en, en español también. Y bueno, se dice ignorance is bliss en inglés, ¿no? So, ignorance can be bliss, but also like, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be like innocent and dumb no more. I like having a... I, li I don't know, I like the way I am. So, dips guys. Five, five it is. If you do them on a kitchen counter or on a chair, do ten maybe or seven at least. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh. Da -da -da. So, white stand, plie, tippy toes, tippy toes, and pull. And maybe hold on to something in case that you're falling down, you could have a chair in front, you should really feel that in your inner thigh. And we're not going to do that for long, this is just like an interlude in between the dips, but since it's leg day, we're going to do leg exercises in between. And lower down and stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's drink something and do another five dips. Ah. Ah. ah, itchy, my elbow is itchy. This night I woke up and I think a mosquito like bit me in the in the foot maybe i was just like maybe maybe it was just imagination but like i woke up and my foot was so itchy ah it was so bad i hate it when that happens when you wake up because yeah. but well it's better to wake up with that instead of waking up because there's a mosquito like flying around your head and you always feel this like so annoying okay five more One, two, take your time, three, four, five. One more set, then we're done. What we're doing now, plie, in the first position, up on our tippy toes, Feet together and we pulse. Right pulsing. Just a bit. Just like to do anything else in between sets. Shoulders stacked over hip bones, right? And knees aligned with our toes. Hips to one side and to the other. One, the other. And ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. And we're going to do the last set of dips. We're so close to getting onto the mat. Just the dips, then some up moves up here, and then it's mat work. Ah. 
up and five more five four three two one oh what we do now in between before we do the abs uh we're gonna let mousy out okay mousy's fertig mit workout it geht It's so sweaty that the paper just sticks to my hands here. <laughs> okay. Um, what we do now, before we do more, we'll probably do up exercises. You stand here, you lift that leg off like that, and then you pulse it up for 10 times. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Du bist auch, ja, es war auch hart, oder? So rumliegen, man das sieht einfach aus, aber man unterschätzt es. Es fordert viel Konzentration auch. Auch geistige Stärke einfach. And up, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next thing we're gonna do is leg lift. Either on the dip handles up here, if you don't have those fingies here, you could just do normal leg lifts on the floor. So you come onto your back, make a big sweat stain onto your mat by lying down on it. Put those hands underneath your bum to create a little hole for your lower back, the lower back on the floor at all times. And then you do leg lifts here. Um, if this is too hard, you can always just bend your legs like that right and yeah this is it do you see that sweat stain there very nice very nice sweat stain beautiful um yeah i'm gonna go for 20 reps up here and if it's up here too hard for you to have the legs straight you can also just tuck your knees right so let's do this for One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven. Oh, so hard. Six, five, four. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, I really feel it in my arm. Oh, I'm gonna hang from the pull-up bar just to. Ah, oh, it's good to hang here. Oh, wiggle a bit, move from side to side. Hang. Ah, oh, do you have one? Oh, this is so good. Oh. Okay. So, again, standing here, lifting this leg off. Yeah, and you can put the compression of the spine. I really like that. It's really good. I do it often, like in between stuff when I'm like going about my day, when I'm going to the bathroom, I get out, I hang a while. So, lift that leg up here and now try to extend the knee. Try to extend it, you know, as try to stay at like as high as you can if you can't just can do it down here this is okay too but try to stay high up as high as you can maybe you have to hold onto a wall to anything totally normal so up and one two 
three, woo, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's some quad work there. And try not to hinge forward, by the way. Try to like have your hips and uh, shoulders stacked on top of each other. So straight back. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're gonna do another 20 of those leg lifts, guys. Yes. But before we do that, let's do a few step taps. Step and tap. Because we've been working the abs and the quads, the same muscles that we're gonna work up there with that move, so yeah. Give your muscles muscles a few seconds to uh, recuperar, to recover. Okay. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. After that, we're going to get onto the floor, so... Well, it's not going to get easy on the floor, but it's going to be different. So. Looking forward to that. One, two, three. Ten. Hi, Jacka. Eleven. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah. How are you doing? and welcome. Let's hang here if you feel like it. Maybe move from side to side. Very good, nice. Me too. Ah, before we go move down to the floor, we're gonna do the vacuum ones, right? We're gonna hold, we're gonna pull in our belly, doing the vacuum, the vacuum here, like pulling in as fast as we can. And we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds, right? I'm gonna prepare that. Okay, guys, let's go. Pull it in. And let's do this. Pull in, in. In, in, in. Halfway. Looks so weird. <laughs> Pull. Try let go. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. Should we do another one? Yeah, I think. Do two sets and then we move it down to the floor. So, are you ready? Pull in another 30 seconds and let's go, pull in. <sighs> okay, perfect. Hi, Lyra, good morning. 
So let's move everything. Ah, before we move it down, yeah, let's quickly sit on that ball and bounce for a moment. Ah, one side. Ah, ah, moving on that ball, setting. Ah, ah, bounce. And let go. And we're gonna move it down to the floor. And I'm gonna change the camera angle since you won't be seeing anything anyway. Uh, I'm gonna put an outbreak, so don't worry. You're not gonna miss anything. Just, um, Maybe just get something to drink, go to the bathroom, or just watch the ad, right? No shame in that. <sighs> so, some of you might, oops, not get an outbreak because you just had one or because you have YouTube Premium. So, I'm gonna keep talking. Bist du schon am Radeln, Nairo? Down, down, down. Way down we go. Ui. Okay, getting closer. So, there we are, right? Ah, yeah, we're missing one thing. The light. The light, guys. The light gotta get closer. Ow! 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 I stepped on something. You're my friend. So, here we are. Here we are, guys. Welcome back to uh, everything. We're gonna do leg work now. Leg work, leg work. And we're gonna start with side lying leg lifts and stuff. So, grab your ankle weights again. Right? Grab your ankle weights, put them on. And then I'm gonna put on the timer as well, and then you're gonna have a good time. I'm putting on my ankle weights again. You don't have to, you can do it without ankle weights. You could use the band instead. Um, and yeah, my ankle weights are one kilogram each. So on each leg, there's two kilograms, roughly uh, 4.4 pounds each leg. But yeah, you can go lower, no problem. You can go higher. It's just the workout to your fitness level. Right. I'm gonna start the timer. It's gonna be one minute for each move. Three to four minutes, I'll decide on the way. There we go. 
So on to the sides here, right? <sighs> this leg is firmly planted into the floor. We're lying here that he's like kind of a 45 degree angle. You don't have to uh, rush anything. If it ever gets too hard, you can also come down all the way here, resting your head on the floor. If you feel like your hand is like, I don't know, getting numb. Sometimes it happens to me. And yeah, we're going to start with clamshells in about 20 minutes. 20 seconds, I mean. In 20 minutes. No, in 20 minutes, we're very close to the stretching part in 20 minutes. So, um, yeah. Clamshells are these. Right, I'm gonna explain everything, cue you in while we do them and tell you when to change or what to do when we change. So let's, let's go. Um, when we do those clamshells or heels are kind of together, right? And then we roll that upper leg up. The movement comes from the hips, uh, but we don't roll back. This is cheating, right? I rather want this to be like a really small movement than uh, for you to like roll back. Right, it's just a teeny tiny move and we're opening up making that diamond shape with our leg. You could also like use a band here around your thighs or you could have an, uh, a dumbbell and have the dumbbell here and put it on here to have some extra weight and just like secure it with your hand, like not holding it up with your hand but kind of like having your hand there so that's like not falling down. That's another way to do this exercise and to make it harder or you can just do it without anything which is also a good exercise. And it's good for your back as well, right? This exercise. Doesn't look like it, but it is. Okay. Legs in, 90 degree angle here. Pull the knee in and push back. You pull in the knee and then you push back behind you. Oh, make sure not to, not to kick your mirror though. Like I am here. Maybe you have to move a bit. Ooh. In. And in, in and out. Woo. Hi, pants boy. Woo. Hi, Georgia Diving Recovery, welcome. Thank you, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing great. Pull in and out, pull in and out out and out next move leg stays back there and we pulse right just pulsing and uh, you see like this is an um move for the legs but we are also engaging our abs and our core here a little bit so if you feel here you'll feel that yeah those side abs they're hard they're working with us So one more exercise after this one and then we're going to switch sides. We have one minute of rest in between the switch. So yeah. And yeah, thank you everyone who's just joined and everyone also who's like here for a while now. Thank you so much uh, for supporting me, for supporting the content, for giving me a thumbs up, for commenting, liking, subscribing. You, I'm really grateful for your, uh, for their support. You're helping me a lot. Thank you. Thank you, you're simply the best. Okay, next thing, the swipe to the front with the foot. So, we swipe and back. If it's too hard, you can just swipe halfway. Swipe. But if, ideally, you kind of swipe up until a 90 degree angle here in between your torso and your leg. Oh, so hard. But this is the last move on that side, so we can do that. If you feel that a lot in your calves, by the way, and you're wearing ankle weights, then you might want to do it without the ankle weights, because you're supposed to feel it up here. Of course, in your calves too, but if your calves are on fire and the rest of your leg is not feeling anything, then you're probably using too much weight. Up. To the front, guys. 15 seconds. Oh, yes. And then we switch and all that fun stuff on the other side. Just four minutes on each side and it burns. Okay. Switching. 
over to the other side. We start in that 40 degree angle, right? A 40 degree, 45 degree angle here with our legs. Like our legs are not in the ninth degree here. They're like a bit further for the clamshells. And again, if you ever feel like your hand is getting numb, you can straighten that arm and put your head here onto, uh, onto your arm. Sometimes it happens to me that my hand gets numb. I don't know why. Because I'm cutting off the circulation probably somehow. But this, yeah, well, hasn't happened to me in a while, but sometimes it does. So 20 seconds to go, to go on with the rest, and then, uh, then again, the clamshells, right? The clamshells, where we create the diamond shape with our legs. Okay, and three, two, one, let's go. Um, again. Heels are kind of together here. We're rotating out. We're not rolling back. The bottom leg is firmly anchored to the floor, right? Not getting off there. And we're creating that diamond shape with the legs. And if you just go up a teeny tiny bit, this is okay. You don't have to open up super wide. The important thing is not to roll back, right? And to keep the weight or to keep that leg anchored into the floor at all times. I feel like we had those music, those songs yesterday already, but maybe I just didn't remember them from like back when we listened a lot to Pretzel. Um, but oh, there was like the, the these boobs are so bouncy song. It, it wasn't they didn't play that one. It's like so funny. It's a, such a funny song with such weird lyrics. Oh well. Maybe they took it out. Maybe they don't have it in their repertoire no more. Because I think they yeah, of course some artists they take their music out there. Okay, 90 degree angle here. And then in and back. Good morning, James Smith. Welcome. How are you doing? In and out. Woohoo. Push. Pull in and push out. Work. Work. After this, we're going to do inner thighs. And then, of course, some donkey kicks in the end. Or maybe, I don't know, that we do want to do one set of donkey kicks for sure. But maybe also just like single leg like glute bridges before with the ankle weights. We didn't do those with the ankle weights yet, I think. So it's time. Ten more seconds and we stay there and pulse it up. And up. Two one and let's stay there and up teeny tiny movements up and down and still this like is firmly planted into the floor now i feel like my hand is getting them i told you that could happen and it just happened to me like not really numb but i get like these tingles in my hand and then i'm like okay oh yes yeah. About 30 more seconds. Uh, this morning I went to collect some wood pellets for the cat's litter box, by the way. And they always tell me to call one day before so that they have it there because they have to bring it like from another place to that place that's close to mine here, to my home. So I called them yesterday and they said, yeah, it's gonna be here, you can take it in the afternoon. I was like, I cannot come in the afternoon. I'm gonna come today or tomorrow or this would be today, like in the morning. And they said, yeah, okay, well, then see you tomorrow. And I went there and they didn't have it. And there's like a three people working there. I think there's more. But there's a young guy who like uh, swiped to the front, by the way, now. Like we swipe. Who's, uh, yeah, he's getting it right. There's a woman who's getting it right. And then there's this older guy. And I think I was on the phone with him twice. And the two times that I was on the phone with him, he never managed to, to get that there. Then I'm there. I'm going to go there to pick it up. And he's like, oh, well, I don't have that. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but what? I think it's my fault for only like uh, trying to, to buy it when I'm almost out of it. I have to I have to buy more wood pellets like in advance. Oof. Because right now they don't have them at, at all the stores because they usually use those in the winter to burn um to to burn in an oven for heating. But you can use them as well as a. Uh, uh, in a cat's litter box or for a rabbit or for anything um and yeah okay we're done guys oh 
we're done with that move. So they're cheaper and they're like better for the environment because it's just wood pellets and they just like disintegrate better than the cat's litter box stuff that you can buy because they are biologically uh uh what's the word i don't know they're not made of plastic they're just made of wood and nothing else so you know they de degrade degradation they're like biology de they bio bio biology biology Biologically degrade? Oh my god, sometimes speaking is not my best thing. So, come up here, shoulders away from ears, right? Um, elbow underneath the shoulder, this like behind. You can be on your tippy toe or on your flat foot, inner thigh facing the ceiling. And we're gonna lift that leg up in a sec. Let's go, let's go. Up. And it doesn't really matter what you do with that arm, you can have it here in front, you can have it here at your side. Right up. Ah. We didn't do this exercise for a long time. I mean, we did do it, I think, last week, but before that, we didn't do those for a long time, and we have to do these more again. You know, to strengthen the leg. And it's already 12.15 here in Spain. So in about like 15 to 15 to 30 minutes, we're going to stretch, guys. Isn't that neat? Stretching is coming up. Up, up, up. Ah. Just a few more seconds and then the next move. Inner thigh facing the ceiling, foot flex, and now in and out. As if you're like pushing a heavy box away. Foot is still flexed and inner thigh is still uh, facing the ceiling. We don't put the weight down on the mat. The leg is up in the air at all times. In and out, guys. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, it's burning! Is it burning for you too? I hope it is. Fifteen seconds to go. So hard, so hard. You love watching this? Perfect. I love doing it. In and out. Three, two, one. Slide to the front. You don't have to slide that far here, right? At least I cannot. Uh, but yeah, out and in. And still, we're not putting that weight down. We're keeping that leg up in the air. Last minute, and then we're going to switch sides and do that on the other leg. Oh my, my inner thigh here is burning. It's burning, guys. And actually, yeah, you could do the same here. Uh, then with the other one, if you don't have the ankle weights, you could put a... A dumbbell here on your leg and just hold it so that there's some extra weight and yeah and up and up up well up up it's not it's up all the time to the front it should be to the front i'm sorry the soles of my feet are as dirty as always <laughs> because i'm walking barefoot so much. how tall are you 172 172. Okay, down. Ah. Ah. And we're gonna do the other side, guys. Mm. And this side. Maybe drink something, right? If you're thirsty, drink something. My aquarius is almost empty, but it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, it's already July. Isn't this crazy? So same thing here. You come here onto your side. Elbow underneath shoulder. Shoulder away from ear. You're 183. So. This foot down, flat, put the foot flat on the floor or up here. Whatever feels better. Inner thigh facing the ceiling and up and down. 
up and down. Right? And this arm doesn't really matter where you have it. Uh, you can have it in front, here, wherever. Up, up, up. I have so many bruises here from Paul and from Tellas actually. I think these are from Tellas. Yes, guys, don't forget to leave your like and maybe subscribe. I will be really honored. Thank you so much in advance for that. You're helping me a lot by that, by watching. And even if you like don't have so much time, but your PC is running, like you could just like open the stream and just like do other stuff, clean the house, do whatever. And the stream is like just on. Ah, uh, that's that's helping as well. You don't have to be like present at all times. You wish you had the discipline train like this in your house. Well, just start one day. You don't have to start with that much. You start with 10 minutes, and then after a month, it's 20 minutes, and then another month and it's 30 minutes and yeah like that bit by bit so put his legs in a thigh still facing the ceiling pulling that leg in and out in and out out in and out. you play tennis well there's something too right i played tennis once when i was in china i was really bad at it i'm really bad at racket sports in and out in and out oh and if it ever gets too hard you could also come all the way down here right this is okay too it's a bit different that you don't you're not engaging your um, obliques that much but you can do that down there the next thing is swipe to the front swipe thank you swipe and swipe swipe Whew. don't forget to breathe guys you need the oxygen even with those exercises that are like not as demanding at maybe some other cardio moves or moves where you use your upper body uh you still should breathe and not hold your breath right because sometimes we tend to hold our breath and something gets like dicey, but that's not good. That's not good. It's making it harder and it's not good for our heart and everything. So keep breathing. Try to keep breathing at all times. 15 seconds to go. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, nice. So now, guys, it's donkey kick. Um, many ways to do them, right? You could be doing them up here, right? Up here, um, down here, right? Well, if you if you're not able to get to, to find the discipline for yourself, then I'm not able to help you actually. Like if you cannot find it watching my streams, then there's nothing I can do. Barefoot is always good. <laughs> so you can do it here. Uh, here, here you have the wrists underneath your shoulders, and here you have the elbows underneath the shoulders. Yeah, wherever you're at, it's fine. But maybe one day we're gonna have a like really big convention here in the Palacio de Congreso, like a really big like yoga convention or like workout convention. I'll be doing the workouts on the on the stage, up and down, guys, up and down with the straight leg on the st on the stage, and people can just come and join. That would be fun. Like you know, like uh, yoga with Adrienne when she did that in London. Up and down, nice and slow. Woo! Up. And uh, maybe one day we can do a convention like that and people can come from all over the world to join us. Up. And up. Really nice. And so you don't have to rush it, right? And we're almost at the end of the workout part, getting closer to the stretching part. Whew. Up. And up. up. We're going to do the hamstring exercise after. We didn't do it in a long time. So, up here, 
in and out. Bend and extend that leg. Bend the knee, extend the leg. This is a really good exercise for your hamstring, the back muscle of your leg. And it's pushing up, it's pushing up your bum. And up, and out, up, and out. In, and out. Good. 20 seconds, one more minute after that and when the other side, guys. Oh, it's burning, it's burning already. Make sure that you're not turned out, by the way. Hips are square, hips are square. Keep breathing. Two, one, normal donkey kick. In and up. In and up. Oh, guys, it's so hard. It burns so bad. But that's good, right? That's what we want. We want the burn, burn, burn. Ah. <sighs> Just a bit longer, guys. Remember not to turn out. Keep breathing. Squeeze those glutes when you're up there. Up. And up. Just 10 seconds to go. And then one minute of rest the other side. And then we're done with the timer. Ah! Into a nice child's pose here for a moment to let go of all the tension. Other side and then we're going to turn the timer off. Oh gosh, guys, it's so hard. So sweaty. I'm so out of breath already. <gasps> that even rhymes. It's so hard. It's so sweaty. I'm so out of breath already. Okay, I like that. I like that song. It's going to be a song. You think you get fit in the summer and in the winter? No. It's, I don't think that I get fit doing this in the summer and in the winter. But in the summer, I'm sweating more and that's this. I like it. It always gives me the feeling that I'm doing more, although I'm not doing more. So. Let's. I'm here, guys. I think in the in the in the summer it's easier like to warm up because you don't have to warm so up so up you don't have to warm up that much. Up and down, up and down. I think in the winter you can push harder at many times because sometimes in summer it's too hot to do too much. So I think in the end you're like you're working out the same in summer and winter as long as you're like doing your stuff the way you want to do it or the way you plan to do it. Up and down, straight leg, or well, one straight leg. Try not to turn out and don't put the weight down on the floor, just tap it and up. I know it's hard. I know we've been so busy, so good at working. We were working so hard. So hard already. One hour of really good cardio. All of it was mostly low impact, it was still hard. And then all the other stuff we did. Okay, now the hamstring exercise up here. Bend that uh, leg and straighten it. Try to keep that knee hip height. Don't turn out. Foot is flexed. Keep breathing. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I think in winter I do more cardio or harder cardio because I want to sweat and in summer I don't do so much cardio so in the end it's the same more or less but I really like working out in the summer I really like it when it's hot I like it when I have when I'm sweating because it always gives me the feeling that I'm doing more but although I'm not I don't think I am Whew, guys 15 seconds and then the last move of those donkey kicks Everything is engaged here. Shoulders away from ears, right? No slouching. 
If you're tired, that's okay. I'm tired too. But we can do that. Donkey kicks now. Basic donkey kicks. Leg or knee at a 90 degree angle. Foot is flat. And we push up. No turning out. No turning out, right? And we push up and we squeeze those glutes. Yeah, I prefer sweating a lot too, but you can sweat a lot in, in winter too. You just have to do more to sweat a lot. So in the end, like if you try to sweat more or less the same, you'll be doing more in winter. Up. Up. <sighs> ah, guys. So nice. Ah. 10 seconds. Woohoo! Almost done with that. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! We're done with the donkey kicks. Oh. So let's turn off that timer. Oh. And then come here, right? You're here, and then lean forward, stretch those legs a little bit, sway from side to side. Ooh. Cross one leg in front of the other. The front leg is bent, the back leg is straight. One nice stretch here. While you're here, you can take off the ankle weight. You don't need them no more. So what I do prefer summer anyway, whatever I do, I prefer it being summer. Let's switch sides so the back leg is straight, now the front leg is bent, and we can get rid of the ankle weights on the other side. I don't like it when I have to wear a lot of clothing. I prefer it when I can wear the same clothes all day. And still sweat. Oh. Okay. Down. Let's drink something, guys. Let's drink something. We're so, so close to the stretching part. We're doing one exercise for the abs, then we're doing some glute bridges, and then we stretch. So, I wanted to do this exercise yesterday, so that's why we're doing it today. Um, let me first of all move the camera. A little bit up, just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we're here in that stance, like on our knees. Move one leg out to the side, hands here, and then we lean over to the side. This is an oblique move. We don't twist to the front or anything, we're going sideways, right? And we're going to do that 10 times, and then we're going to stay down there and pulse it for 10 times, right? Not hard at all well it can be hard but it depends on how low you go so let's do this one two three four kitty there's no kitty here right now five six Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now let's go down there and pulse for ten times. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Other side. 
Let's go. One. Uh, I am, okay. <laughs> Hi, Dynasty. Welcome. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. We stay down there on the next one and pull two. But ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And up. And now just some glue bridges. Oh, I said I wanted to do the glue bridges with the ankle weights, but I took the ankle weights off, right? Well, and so we're doing them without the ankle weights. No problem. Let's come onto our backs here. You can have your hands by your sides like that, or over your head. Oh, we didn't do any back exercise. Well, we did some maybe, the brute dog, but not much. Well, ah, no problem. We did some exercise that like getting our back. That's getting our back. Um, so you come down here, and then we roll up vertebra by vertebra, and then we're like kind of in a glue bridge here. You can, like I said, have your hands here or have them here. The important thing is to have a more or less straight line from knees to shoulders. And then all the way down and all the way up for the moment. Resting the weight on the floor. Because we've done so much already, right? We don't have to push it too hard right now. We've been so good today. We can be proud of ourselves. Working out real hard. Uh, and yeah, on Friday we're gonna do a bit of a workout as well. Like I said, we're gonna be stretching, but uh, most most of the time I guess. But we're gonna do half an hour to one hour of workout as well. And up. Up. On the next one, let's stay up there and pull it. Hi, Ramsey. Welcome. How are you doing? Pull. Pull it. But ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, down. Bring those legs in for a moment. Maybe roll them from side to side. Ah, it feels so nice. Ah, it feels good, right? So, I said we wanted we were going to do some single leg root bridge things, right? So we're gonna do them not too much, but a little bit. So you can either have your hands up here or by your sides, and then you come up. Um, you're just gonna do ten reps. It's gonna be easy, right? Well, easy. You're gonna do. Kind of a march so we come up here and then this one leg up and then the other right just like this and ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and down too easy how was your for it was good like here in in spain it's not a holiday so uh it was just a normal normal working day it was good we did a really nice high impact workout in the morning squatting a lot doing a lot of booby variations so nice very nice and yeah 
after that I did another stream on Twitch. No one survived. It's a zombie game. It was really cool. So now, but it's full in one leg. The other one is stays back there. How was your Fourth of July? Did you do something special or fall over? That side, stretching. <laughs> Back to the middle. You were at both overnight. Ah, oh, okay. So, not much time to do something special, I guess. Other leg, pull in. And pull over. Like that. back to the middle and because I said we did have we didn't do a lot of back exercises we're gonna do some now and again you don't have to have a ball you could just lie on the mat as it is uh, maybe double pull to your mat because it might be too hard but if you have a bar ball or playground ball or like a couch cushion you can roll that up and put that underneath your pelvis right underneath your pelvis here to create some instability, you jog soon. Do push ups, and I yes. push ups are great, a great full body exercise. One of my favorite workout moves. So now that we're up here, right? Or we have a bum kind of like up here, and we're gonna lift one leg up and pulse it up for 10 times, right? So one leg up, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and down, and the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. First leg again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. This is a really good move for your lower back and for your bum. Other side, right? We're gonna do that side, and then after that, we're gonna do both legs at a time. Three, two, one. Okay, now both legs up and just pulsing up there. So you don't have to go uh, such a like. We don't have to make it such a big move as we did with one leg because it's gonna be even more. Uh, there's going to be more instability, obviously. So, up and pulse. Pulse it up there. Right, squeezing with that bum, using your glutes, using your lower back to pulse those legs up there, training everything. And let's stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, hold it. This exercise is good for your bum, for your booty, and for your lower back. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And down, up. It has to, it has to burn, does it? Yeah, it depends on how strong your lower back or your bum is. It might, you might feel a burn, you might not feel a burn. But like, if, the best thing would, to do, would be doing it until you feel at least a slight burn. Um, because then you're engaging all those small muscles. So, upper back and then we're done. Guys, upper back and we're done with the workout and we're gonna stretch. So, upper back is uh, gonna be, we're gonna do cobra push-ups. Cobra push-ups, they can be good for our arms, but we can like even use them more for our um, back as well. So what we do here, we come into that pose on our back, uh, on our belly. Where our arms are underneath the shoulders. They don't flare out, they're like cl as close as possible to the upper body. And then we push off like this. And we can either like push up with the strength of our arms, right? Which we train the arms well, but these arms, they're like there to like support your back. So you try to like, you have to make that mind body connection to your back because you try to pull up more with the strength of your back and not so much with those arms, right? The arms are just there to support you a little bit. But you're using the back. Up. 
up. This is the last move, guys. Then we stretch. I mean, there are going to be some stretching moves that are hard. But anyway, it's going to be stretching. Just a few more. We go for your morning run. And thank you for dropping by, Ramsey. Have a great day and bye-bye. And thank you for your support. Thank you so much. Up. Let's stay for 10 more reps. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One and into child's pose, guys. We made it to the workout part. We're gonna stretch now. Let's stay in the child pose for a moment before I'm gonna switch the music. I'm gonna take another bathroom break, so you might want to take one too in a sec. And then we'll be, I'll be meeting you back here in one and a half minutes or something. I'm gonna run an ad break while I'm in the bathroom because you're not going to miss anything anyway i won't be here and mouth is not here either so so quick bathroom break guys and then we start Let's drink something. And then start with the stretching. Right? So, we start here on our belly. <laughs> like that. And we're going to do those scorpions which are kind of a stretch but also kind of a workout right so we bend one leg and then we roll over and if we can we touch the floor if we cannot touch the floor no problem i'm going to do five on each side one more Let's do the other side. 
Biceps exercise dumbbell curls. Yes, I sometimes do them, but not very often. Because like I don't have very heavy weights. Like I have three kilogram weights, but they're not here. They're like in the living room because Jay is using them right now. Um, but yeah, I would like to do them like with heavier weights because with those weights I have to do like a lot of like a lot of reps. So I will have to buy some heavier weights at some time to be able to do that, like five kilograms or something, so I don't have to do so many. Because I, as you know, guys, I hate doing too many reps of something. <laughs> I prefer doing fewer reps with more weights. And I think it's about one more. But sometimes we do them, and I have just, I, for example, like I have the two kilogram weights here. But like with two kilograms, it's just like, how long are you gonna do that with two kilograms? It's just gonna get very boring to do those. But yeah, there was a time when I was doing that more often. I have times when I do use those dumbbells more. Maybe on Friday, maybe on Friday, when I do the stretching session, we could start the stretching session um, with some dumbbell stuff because usually I don't do dumbbells. But we could do half an hour like dumbbell exercises. Right? But yeah, I would have to get heavier dumbbells at one time, at one point. Um, so, let's come into a cobra stretch here since we're like technically still on our belly. <laughs> So hands underneath our shoulders, press up, let everything hang, and look up. Shoulders down, away from ears. Need to stretch in your abdominal wall. So you, you probably do shoulder, you do bicep curls, right? What, what kind of weights do you use and how many reps do you do? You do? Child's pose. And from child's pose, let's get into the cobra pose again. Let's switch in between those two poses. And you can stay in any pose a bit longer if you like. I feel like my legs are getting getting like I'm, like my knees are like kind of like drifting apart <laughs> bit by bit with each change here further apart. I mean. Let's stay here again in the cobra. Bend both legs. You have 30 pound dumbbells before reps, then switching on, do it again, okay. Yeah, that's, that sounds more like some, I mean, 30 pounds would probably be a lot for me. It's coming to childhood, but yeah, I would like to have like, uh, like heavier weights so that, uh, yeah, we wouldn't have to do so many reps because with the ones I have, you see like the, 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 these ones, I have to do like so many reps to like feel a burn and then it's just annoying. So I will have to get heavier dumbbells at one point. I should buy like a, I don't know, 10 kilogram dumbbell or something, maybe 5 to 10. Maybe a dumbbell where you can add weight on, that would maybe be good. I don't know. But they're so expensive, like good dumbbells are very expensive, but well, then they last forever, right? Because like I have a pair of dumbbells that I have, I've been having that pair for 20 years now and it's still good, but it's just 3 kilograms, so it's not a lot. Two, four, yeah, because this, but what, that would, what you're doing sounds like, sounds more like something I would enjoy doing. Just like do a few reps and the really hard reps and then change and do it again. Instead of doing like, I don't know, 50 reps. Doing 50 reps in a row is just so tiring, like mentally. Let's come on to a back. I gotta get, I gotta get heavier weights. Ah, oh, I gotta get heavier weights. Or at least one heavy weight, right? One is enough. I can switch sides then. Oh 
Okay. Come down here. Straighten that other leg. And maybe grab your thigh or your calf, wherever you're at. Yeah, I, got, I think when I get money, I'm going to get, I, I get like my uh, unemployment, like uh, help on the 10th, I think, of this month. And I'm going to get it for like two and a half months because they didn't pay me the other month. So maybe when I get that, I'm going to, I'm going to buy a good dumbbell, a heavy dumbbell. And then we can do that on stream and do some curls because I never do dumbbell. I do dumbbells very rarely on stream because I have to do so many reps and I don't want to be there like 20 minutes doing curls and shoulder presses. Both arms at once, that's going crazy. So, yeah, I imagine. Well, it, with that heavy, with, with such heavy weights, one arm is enough. If you just do a few reps, it, it's good. So one arm can like, uh, can like recover and then you're going to get the other again. Right. I'm going to lay on the 10th. I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy heavier dumbbell and then or one heavy dumbbell. One is enough. Grab the heel if you can, but just if you can, if you're not that advanced, just stick with holding your thigh. And then if you can out to the side here. I wonder what kind of weight I should be getting. I should be, the best thing would probably be to get one of those where you can change the weight maybe. Because I feel like five to ten kilograms for the moment would be enough, but five to ten at some point will be not enough again. So it would be great maybe to have something where you can like uh because a 30 pound is like about 15, 15 kilograms. So it would be nice to have something where you can keep changing stuff. Also for leg work. Let's do the other side. Also for leg work, I think it would be nice. And for like, to put it when I do, when I do uh, glute bridges, to put some extra weight on my hips, they would work for that too, because that's something I would like to have too. Other side, grab the leg and pull. I'm gonna check the price. I think I saw some of those for like 80 to 80 to 100 euros or something. I think maybe there were even cheaper ones. Grab the calves if you can, but if you can only you're still back here, this is totally fine. You don't have to pull your leg that far in. Yes, I have heard of those. Yeah, goblin lifts. I mean, oh no, maybe not. Maybe not. No, no. I think I think I'm thinking goblin squats now. I'm thinking goblin squats now. So no, I haven't heard of them. Then I gotta check that on my cell phone in a second. I was thinking goblin squats. And I was like, oh no, goblet lift. No, I check that. Oh. Um, arm leg to the side if we can. Oh, this is so good. So let me check that real quick while we get into a straddle, everyone else. So let's come into like a straddle position. You don't have to have your legs that wide open. Nine degrees is totally fine. And have your hands behind your back, pushing to the front. Um, which is like a goblet. Oh, okay. Ah, like this you mean, yeah. Holding it like this. Like, ah, you hold it like, you can use it like a kettlebell you mean then. So if you have, again, you have your hands at your side, behind your bum and you're pushing forward with a straight back. Um, and if you can come further to the front with a straight back, you can have your hands here. And then goblet lift, just like lifting it like this. Or what? Okay, it's always myself on the camera. Ah, okay, yeah, so squatting while holding the dumbbell like that or holding it. Goblet squat. Ah, okay, no, then this then this is then this is what I thought it was. I, I thought it was called a goblin squat. <gasps> Isn't there such thing as a goblin squat? Or did I just like listen wrong and saw it, thought it was a goblin uh, 
Tag. You can come further down, come further down. So I'll put the heavy dumbbell on my list. I thought I can exactly and I thought it was a goblin squat. So maybe do people say it wrong and or is a goblin squat something else? Goblin. It's goblin squat. Oh my gosh, then I knew it. I thought it was goblin. I was thinking because maybe you were moving so weird. And that it would remind some people of goblins. <laughs> and I've been like, I've been having that misconception for like two or three years now. A goblin spot. My goblet sounds like goblin. Hola, Alex. Buenas, que tal? And if you can, come on to your forearm. Oh, I love it. Goblin squad. <laughs> I just thought it's a funny name, like to give it like goblin. Maybe next time you make a Uruguay squad or like a Orc squad, and I don't know what. <laughs> a troll squad, maybe. If you cannot dab me down here with a straight back, by the way, you're still here with your hands behind your bum. The goblin does sound better, yeah. And anyway, I didn't... Uh, I thought it was goblin. If you can, slide out here. And come all the way down, but this is just, this is very advanced, so you might not want to do that. Hold it for a moment. At your lowest point. If it's up there with your hands behind your bum, totally fine. And up. Lean over to one side. Ah, vale, sí, no pasa nada, Pep. Que tengas un buen día y muchas gracias por casi siempre estar aquí y nos vemos uh, más tarde en tu directo o mañana o algún otro día. Luego. Let's stay on one side. You only hear the word cover in her so yeah. That's true. The Goblet of Fire, right? Was it the Goblet of Fire? The fourth? The fifth book? The fourth. The fourth that it was, right? Okay, today you would tell you well then. Hopefully I'll I'll catch that. I think I will because I'll be I'll be at the PC because you when when do you start to stream? At four or five, something like that, right? I'll be at the PC by that because later on I'm gonna go buy something. Bye bye. But that time I'll be here. I'm not like out. Gracias, muchas gracias por todo. Y nos vemos. Harry Potter. I really used to love the books, the Harry Potter books. I was such a fan when I was a kid. And I made my dad, for example, I made my dad go buy the book in the middle of the night when it came out and they had like these things where you could like wait to buy them and I made him go there to buy it because I was too young to do them myself. And I was such a fan and I don't know, the, for me the movies kind of destroyed that. Same thing with Twilight. I did, I did read the Twilight novels before they were like made into film. And I really enjoyed them and they were really cute and fun. And then I saw the first movie and I was like, okay. Okay, that actually like is a good interpretation of the first book, but I just suddenly saw things in that and I was thinking, okay, yeah, well, I don't really like that no more. <laughs> and with Harry Potter, the same. Like I watched the first movie, it wasn't bad, but I don't know, it wasn't my kind of my Harry Potter. It wasn't the way it was in my head. 
but I used to like the books a lot, a lot, lot. It was always like it was so so nice when you were just were waiting for the next book to, book to be launched each year, and you're like, ah, oh, it's coming, the next book is coming out. Yeah. Oh, your friends wanted to read it too. And I actually just saw the first Harry Potter, and then I think the second one from the films, and I didn't want to see no more because I was like, I don't like those. Two. I I like my Harry Potter. I like the Harry Potter in my heart. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, darling. Macarona, Macarona. Goblin squats, ha 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 ha. <laughs> He's a goblin emoji. Perfect for goblin squats now. You gotta use that when I'm doing those. Put. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'll look into them on Friday. We're gonna do some dumbbell stuff. I won't be have the heavy dumbbell on Friday, but we can work with the lighter dumbbells as well. Working our way up there. So bum up, hips down. Get, uh, used to that yeah because it is time to get heavier dumbbells i've been talking about that for a long time and they're like so useful for so many things for arms for abs for legs for legs a lot as well and in so we can get rid of the towel now i think because I'm not that sweaty no more. I'm still a bit sweaty, but like I think the towel soaked up most of my butt sweat. It sounds kind of disgusting, right? Um, let's drink something. And then I wanted to try something new. I saw someone else doing that. And I was thinking like, okay, let's try that. If that's something doable, it's a stretch for the legs with a ball. Um, and yeah, it's always nice to use those props that we have. I think you could also be using a chair. So we come onto our backs here. One leg is on the ball. Maybe that ball is too big actually, I don't know. One leg on the ball, then, uh, we bring that knee, first of all, as close as we can to the floor, right? Holding it there. And maybe straightening and extending and extending it. Wait, I have to go more back here so you can see that better. Bend and extend. A few times. If you can do that, if you just get until here or if you're here, totally fine too, right? Or maybe you can get all the way down. Okay. Now, next step is to bring that leg behind or shoulder. Right? <laughs> Not that easy with the ball. Behind or shoulder and straighten it somehow. Right? Like this. Holding it with the opposite arm. Hi, Scott. With the opposite arm, this is very advanced, you might not want to do that, right? With the opposite arm like this, right? And then we bend and extend that leg. Oops. The other leg. Ah. And let's stay here for a moment. Ah, this is harder than it looks. No, it's not. I think it's easier than it looks. Let's do the other side. Let's do the other side. So. I'm switching sides because I will, if I do it on the same side, I'll be turning all the way back there and you won't be seeing anything. So, up here. <laughs> Mm 
right so the first thing we do is we bring that leg in here to the floor or if you can't get it to the floor you're somewhere here which is totally fine too if you can bring it towards the floor even better grab that heel and bend and extend the leg Bend and extend. Oh, my knee. Did you hear my knee crack there? I was like, <laughs> like my, my joints, they get so creaky, right? They are like, they are creaky. Hold it for a moment. And now, uh, try to bring this very advanced again. Try to bring that leg behind the shoulder. You can. like this then you grab the leg with the opposite arm you straighten it like this and you bend and extend that leg here on the ball just out and in just a few more times Whew. three Hi. Good. Two. And one. Let go. <sighs> Hi, Kisha. Welcome. I don't know what this is called. This is a hip, uh, hip, hip mobility and leg stretch. What time is it? Is it? It's uh, one o'clock. About one o'clock. One ten. About one ten. Let's stretch our back with the ball. If you have the ball, if you don't have a ball, just do a cover again. If you do have the ball, uh, the hip isn't that mobile. Yeah, that was an advanced move. Hi, Vijay. That was an advanced move. So now you have your hip, your pelvis here, and then you come forward and you let your um, back like hang down to <laughs> stretch the back. Um, if this is hurting your back, don't do that, right? Don't do that. And look up. Uh. VJ, you just asked that yesterday and, uh, you know, things don't change that much from day to day. I don't understand why you keep asking the same thing over and over and over again. What's wrong with you? It looks good. Yeah, it looks good tonight. Call it. Uh, why are you so obsessed with my weight? Why? Why? Do I look fat? No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. Why he's asking the same thing all the time. Come back here. <laughs> Hanging down here, letting go of all the tension. I mean, because like I said, it's okay to ask like once a week or every two weeks or something, because I can see that people might want to know like your height and weight to see like, uh, when you look like that, how much do you weigh and how big are you? But like to keep asking that every day, is just, I don't just, I don't understand. I don't understand that. Okay, let's get rid of that uh, of that ball, right? Let's get rid of that ball, and we come into child's pose here, letting go of all the tension in our lower back. And then we're going to do some lunges, right? Uh, some exercises everyone can do more or less. Everyone can do more or less. So um, you can do a lunge like with your leg down, with your back leg 
with your back knee down so you can do it here and if you're here and this is as far as you get this is fine maybe you can go lower ideally you will have like this super open super open like my English upper and something so down down Pushing down here, try to open up the hips further. And if you're here, totally fine, right? Everyone has a different um, level of flexibility, and you keep if you keep working on that, you get more flexible. If you want to come down onto your elbows, your cake. <laughs> and. Roll to the back, trying to bring that back heel and the back leg, that back heel, that back leg closer to the floor. Bounce, bounce. Yeah, the green hair is super nice. I love it. I would think I have to take it out in two or three weeks, I think, already, because I think, I don't know when I put it in sometime in May, and I can leave it in for like two months or maybe two and a half months, but then I have to take it out. Hi, Walter, welcome. Let's stay down here. Yeah, enjoy that. And up and back. <sighs> so, let's come onto the other side and again maybe this is your max maybe this is where you max out with your stretches maybe you can go further to the front and be lower down up to you oh. and by the way we can take off the wristband right we don't need it no more because we're done with the workout part up away and push down. Feel how those hips are opening a bit further with each hold. And even if it's just like, I don't know, a nanometer. Now, if you can, down onto the forearms, right? And trying to bring that back leg, so rolling kind of a bit to the side, trying to bring that leg that's back there um, closer to the floor. <sighs> ah, stay down there. Oh no. And up again. Out pose. Before we get into a lunge again, where we grab the back foot. Yeah, it's good light. It's supposed to be good light. You know, like there's so much shit happening every, everywhere. So like we should be enjoying ourselves here. So deep lunge again with the back leg, with the back knee on the floor. And then with the opposite arm, grab that back um, foot if you can. Right. Scratch your face maybe if you have to. And ah, pull down. So nice. And if you're here, fine. Don't push yourself. Fine. Let go. Which side? Oop. 
one side might be a bit or very much tighter than the other. On that side, for example, I do feel that way more in my quad. Let go. Into puppy pose. Right where we bring our bum up and a chest down here to feel a nice stretch in the shoulders as well. Into tabletop position, we're gonna stretch the tops of our feet. So we stay like this and then we push up on the tops of our feet. And if this is too much, well then go down again. But if you feel like you can do more, walk back. Stretch those feet, maybe balance a little bit. And up in the forward fold. Yeah, the puppy pose is really nice. It feels so good for the in the shoulders. A bit like a down dog, but even more intense, I'd say. Forward fold, swaying from side to side. Walk out into down dog, right? Where we try to now bring our heels towards the floor, straighten the legs, and have that back, of course, aligned with our arms. Let's stay here for a few breaths. And if your heels are off the floor, that's okay. But think about like pushing them down. <sighs> Lift one leg up and let's get into the pigeon pose. Maybe you're up here. Or maybe you're all the way down or almost all the way down. Pushing the palms into the mat here, looking out slowly down. If you can, grab the back leg with this same arm and push it or pull it as hard as, hard as you can. Pull it in and push it against your bum. go now let's come into a yin yang yawning face pose where we bring this leg out so that it's kind of in a 90 degree angle right it, ideally in a 90 degree angle kind of like an alternate an alternate version of, of a pigeon pose and if you can Come onto that leg as close as you can. If you cannot come down there, no problem, just stay up there. It's a very good move to improve your hip flexibility. Hmm. Feels so nice. So fall asleep here. And then when I would fall asleep in that pose, I probably wouldn't be able to move that leg no more. And in, tuck the back leg up and back into the down dog. Push those hands, those palms into the mat, the soles of your feet into the mat. And now lift the other leg. And let's do the pigeon pose on the other side. Same thing here. If you're a beginner, you're up here, you could use some yoga blocks to prop yourself up. On if you more advanced lower down. Press those palms into the mat. Look up. 
see the nice stretch in your bum and the outer thigh of the front leg. That feels so good. Yeah, as down dog is such a nice pose. It's one of my favorite poses. Because it's really good for stretching, but also strength, and it feels so good in your legs and your back position. If you can, grab the back leg, put, pull it towards you, and then push it down towards that bum. back and let's come into the yin yang yawning pose where we move that knee of the front leg out so that we create a 90 degree angle at that knee if we can right and then if we can we come as close onto that leg as possible one side again might be way tighter than the other totally totally normal And up again, bring that leg in, tuck the back leg, or the back foot, and up again, into that down dog. Really push into the mat, really feel that stretch in your calf and in your shoulders. Maybe move the hips a bit from side to side intensify that and then walk in bit by bit roll up one leg in front the other one back right both legs are straight and um, both feet both soles are flat on the floor both feet flat on the floor, and then you lean forward and come as close as you can to that front leg. You feel a really nice stretch in the back part of that leg, especially in the bum here and the inner thigh. Uh. Huh? What? What do you mean? I still let's switch sides ah, up here up here guys right other side and down 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 all the way and ah. Push. Ah. Pull, I mean, push, pull, whatever, like get close to that leg. Feel that nice stretch here. Ah. 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 And let's get down with you sometime. Yeah, it's my boyfriend. Talking about my boyfriend, I think. <gasps> so. We're gonna do this. 
Therefore, you're hungry. Eat something. I'm hungry too. Kind of hungry. Not that hungry, but I feel like my stomach could use something. Um, something could like digest me. I'm gonna have porridge today. I think I'm feeling like having porridge. Doing a porridge with nice fresh watermelon. Okay, splitting. We're gonna try to get into the split. Um, with yoga blocks, it's easier. If you don't have yoga blocks, no problem. You could do it without as well. So, a burp? I don't know. Maybe I did burp. I do burp at times. Burping, burping is a fine thing to do when you feel like it, like, right? You have to like let some things just go out, get out, everything, right? Don't hold burps in or farts. Right, everything like everything is like giving you pressure, let it out. <laughs> so we're here. Whole thing. And if you want to, you could come to the front here to open up a bit further. So good. In. Again. And try to get lower here. And up. And let's do the other side, but I'm going to put the wristband away. It's annoying me that it's like in the middle of the room there. I see it and I'm like, ah, I have to like put it away. Out here, let's slide. Ah, oh, so nice. Come to one side, to the front, push it. Back to the middle. And up. And now, because I don't feel like doing the splits for so long today. We have other stuff that we want to do as well. Um, let's try to over split right away. So if you have three yoga blocks, it's easier with three, two will do. One will do, or think book. Where, oh my God. Oh, I got a yawn. 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 The person you're trying to reach. What a weird song. Right what a weird song. I'm gonna buy myself Ableton Live. Um, uh, and Ableton Live, and then I'm gonna like make my own. But but if, I guess it's I guess it's uh it's hard to like um. If you need further assistance, to listen always to your own music will like it, it's weird to listen to your own music probably at all times maybe check my link tree for all my links marvin right i do have a link tree and you can get all of my links there from anything from tiktok to instagram and more all right anyway i have the same name everywhere in all my channels so if you check that out, it is everyone who wants to social, my Twitch, my, isn't it working? 
my Twitch, my Instagram, my TikTok, my everything. This is a YouTube stream, so you can check my link tree out, but like this is not a topic that we're talking about here. Okay, so guys, up here, put up here onto the yoga block, okay, onto the yoga block, and then I'm doing sports, guys. This is sports stream, right? So, hi, Hamza. Out. Oh. Uh, let's do the over split here and down. Uh. Du, du, du. Hold it. Oh, so nice! So nice. Ah. Down, down. Uh. And down. We're gonna do the other side in a second. In a second, guys. I'm getting hungry. Now that you talked about about getting hungry, I'm getting I'm getting more hungry. So other side. And down, sit down, down, down. I think I might be also getting hungry because the neighbors are cooking. I don't know, maybe they are. It sounds like it, I think. Sometimes it smells. Like it. Down here. And thank you. So yoga blocks aside for the moment. I don't know if we need them again. Maybe we will. We don't have so much time left anyway, but yeah. So let's drink. Sí, esos extremeros son bastante bien para, para hacerlos espagar. Poco a poco. Y ahora vamos a hacer el flow pose. We're going to do the flow pose, guys. So, we come onto our backs here, right? Onto our backs. Our hands by our side. We inhale and exhale. Enjoy that for a moment. And then one leg up and the other. And we try to roll over. Vamos intentando de llevar los pies por la cabeza hasta el suelo. We try to bring them to the floor. But if you if you cannot go further than that, it's okay. Si no puedes más. Y eso está bien también. But like, if you can, um, legs on the floor. Mm. Moving. From side to side here a bit. Giving a nice stretch in your back. Ah, oh, it's so good. Try not to step on your hair, maybe. One side. And the other. One and the other. Ah. Oh. Bend your legs if you can and try to bring one heel to the floor and then the other. This is very advanced, so you might not want to do it. No problem if you don't, right? Take your time. Oops. 
can even like bring your arms to the front here. This feels better. Moving. I guess not coming out right now. It might be. Hands back, legs straight, and we roll back bit by bit. Yeah. Oh. Arms to the side, feet up here, and then roll to one side, ah, the legs to one side, look the other way. Keep breathing. And up. Other side. These easy stretches are sometimes like the best because they're not hard to hold and they like, you can release so much like pressure or tension in them. And you look tired? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. But of course I like also like I'm um I'm, I'm a bit tired because like, we've been working out for a long time I and mean, we did the cardio session. We did one hour of cardio, one and a half hours of uh workout and then we now we stretch. So it's normal to get a bit tired like that. Uh, what about getting into a bridge? We didn't do that. We didn't, uh, we didn't get into a bridge for a while. Let's try that. How that goes. Embody the self on all. No, that seems, uh, that's not here. And so I need to do something. So, for the bridge, if you want to do a bridge, like there's many ways to do that. Um, first of all, hands behind your uh, hands next to your ears, fingers facing down. And then you prop up either on your head or all the way, right? First of all, okay, the first part would be like you get into the glute bridge, right? Like that. And then you can push further up. And try to get those legs straight to stretch the lower back but well I'm not able to get do that now so much because I haven't been doing a bridge in a while. This is also good to stretch those wrists by the way. And three two one Slowly down, ah, circle those wrists, shake them. Ah. Let those legs fall to the sides, like kind of in a butterfly pose. And if your legs are up here, this is totally normal in the beginning, right? If you don't have so much hip mobility, they might be there, up there. So let's gravity. Do its work. So nice, right? Uh, we're gonna do the happy baby pose. So legs up here. Grab those sides of the feet. Right. Thanks, Hamza. And then up here maybe you're maybe you're not getting closer to the floor but maybe you can get those legs down a bit and then you could also roll from side to side here right roll from side to side if this hurts your back you might want to double fold your mat or get a thicker mat or put a towel or something extra uh underneath Yeah. 
and roll your head the other side Let's do a nice shoulder stretch. We come in tabletop position here. Hand goes to shoulder down on the floor. And we feel a nice twist in our back. Isn't that nice? Oh. Other side. Ah, yes. <clears throat> And up again. Let's come into a butterfly pose. Do is this express your fighting crime? Yeah, what well, I am a superhero actually. I cannot tell you who I am, but you know, like with the secrecy, but yeah. <laughs> so arms uh arms, I say shoulders down, soles of the feet together, we grab those feet. If you're up here with your legs, totally normal. Bit by bit, they're gonna be lower down. Straight back, flap those legs down, shoulders away from ears, proud chest. <sighs> Maybe move your head from side to side. Pull. <laughs> Pull. To the front. And now um, you either want to like, maybe you grab your leg like this and straighten it and then the other one, right? Or if you can, you can maybe grab your heels and straighten them. Ooh, one at a time, one leg at a time. And maybe your legs or your knees will crack like mine just did. I don't know if you heard that, it was super loud. Up. And that and stretch and now let's do both and hold that for a moment if you can <sighs> die and be hero live long enough to that confident well i rather want to live a long long life and then I'll, i'm the villain in the end i'm okay with that and now <laughs> let's get into um the straddle position again if you are not very flexible hands behind your back pushing to the front like this this is where you're at totally fine no need to go any further but if you can come to the front with a straight back come lower leading with your chest leading with your chest all the way down to the floor if you can enjoying that stretch Hold it wherever you're at. If you're all the way up, still fine, right? No need to be that low. <clears throat> and up again. If you can, try to open up those legs further. Maybe you'll be able to, maybe not. Point the feet. And if you're back here still, no problem. And if you're if you're not if your straddle isn't that wide, no problem either, right? You don't have to have your legs that far open if you're a beginner or if you're like intermediate, because this is pretty. Roll your bum up and your hips down. Up, bum up and sit down. And again, if you can, come onto your elbows. Thank you, Hamza. 
I love all of you for being here. <laughs> I really appreciate any support, guys, right? I'm so grateful because it's just great. I love doing what I do and you love watching it. So like, this is like the perfect symbiosis, right? Let's keep growing. Next stream, next fitness stream is on Friday. We're almost at the end of the stream, unfortunately, but next one will be on Friday. So let's come closer to the floor, leading with our chest. Oh, my legs are like jelly. Ah, I feel like jelly. Oh. Are you leaving already, started? You're leaving already? We're leaving soon too. Not yet, but in a second. So, 90 degree angle here, 90 degree angle here. And then shift from one side to another. You could even like shift all the way over, then back, up, up. You still say that? Yeah, it's just like, this is like kind of the last move. After that, it's over. No, but you can leave already if you want to, if you have something to do. But like, this is the last move because I have to take care of some stuff. So, guys, this is the last move hip flexibility. We're done for today, right? Do you, it may be tomorrow on Twitch for art. Um, on Friday, back here on YouTube. One last time. And so. Great. <laughs> yes, guys, don't forget, um, I'll be back on, I'll be back on Friday, um, or tomorrow, not tomorrow, not here, but on Twitch. Thank you so much everyone for working out with me, it was a great, great stream. I see you on Friday, I said that like a Trazilian time. Thank you so much, muchisimas gracias for your support, um, have a great Wednesday, um, and uh, yeah, see you, see you soon. Bye bye, kisses for everyone. Ta da! You're simply the best. Doom, doom, doom. Better than all the rest. Gracias, gente. Y nos vemos el viernes. Hasta luego.